Great morning and welcome to the Coach the Coach show here on Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs. I am so great morning and welcome to the Coach the Coach show. I am so excited to be with you on this morning. Welcome. It is Monday, March 28th. So come on in, come on in, get your papers and pen. I promise you, you will want to do that. Definitely want to do that on today. And I promise you that you're going to want to watch the replay. I'm going to go ahead and promise you that now and guarantee that if you watch it, a, a ton of value awaits you. Okay. A ton of value awaits you. All right, great. So we're going to dive right on in and equip, empower, poise, and position to move those who are ready to move is my ultimate mission. I wake up every day with a smile on my face, determined to make a difference in my assigned place. You see, my purpose, my passion, and my focus is to take you from where you are to where you want to be. I am Pamela Lou King, better known or Coach P, better known as Pamela Lou Hing, and I am so excited to be here with you today to talk about connecting your ideas to your dollars, okay, your ideas to your dollars. Okay, so I want to thank Ms. Christina Rowe for having me, for having us, and allowing us the space, carving out the space for us to be here, okay, carving out the space for us to share and to give uh, and to pour into each other. So thank you so much for uh, Christina Rowe and to her staff. She has the most incredible staff. So thank you so much. And I also want to share that uh, my time today is sponsored by the Coach Mastermind Network, which is our um, premier network uh, that is a membership and it's a wonderful place to be able to grow, to learn and to learn as a life or business coach. So who is Coach P? Coach P is, um, how about a mom? I also am a caretaker for my mom. But in addition to that, I have a BA in communications, public relations. I have 25 years in strategic planning, about 30 years in personal and leadership development and sales. I've been a certified Christian life coach for about 11 years now. And I am a master coach for life and business coaches. I'm a speaker. I'm an author of seven publications, but ladies, it has not always been that way. I was downsized not one, not two, but three times before all of this began, before I began to really step into my own, before I really accepted my calling and, and what God had put on my heart to coach, right? And so perhaps you can identify out there. Can anybody identify out there? Go ahead and put in comments and say, hey, that was me, all right? That was me. If you've been downsized, you understand what, what it's like. Um, so what I want to share with you is I've not always been in, uh, you know, at the top of my game, and I'm still, the, uh, at you, as you get to one top of the game, then there's another top to go to. There's another level, always another level, right? And so that's why I have to share a little bit about me and what it is I do. So I help early stage life or business coaches get unstuck and uh, overcome the overwhelm so they can get clear, get a plan and get clients in order to transform lives and build profitable coaching businesses they love. So I focus in primarily three different areas and our organization is built on three different areas. One is coaching development. And then the second one is personal development. And then lastly, leadership development. Okay, so coaching development, personal, uh, personal development and leadership development. And whenever you attend any of my um, trainings, I always encourage coaches to focus on two different areas, okay? I want you to look through two different lenses, two different set of lenses, okay? The first one is as a transformational coach and working directly with your coaches, all right? So I'm working with your coaches. Uh, what information can you glean to help you with your methodologies, to help you uh, in, your, in, in helping uh, to create the transformation for your clients, okay? So that's the first lens. The second lens is as a CEO, okay? So I want you to focus in as a CEO in terms of how I do what I do, okay? How I'm delivering, how the information that I'm presenting, and then what information can you take back to incorporate in your business and in, and in your organization to take it to the next level, okay? So that's as CEO, all right? And so 
as you are looking through both of those lenses, I want to give you the care method. This is a methodology that I've created, and you can use this not just in business, but in your personal life, your family life, and is what can you continue doing? So perhaps you're already doing some of the things I'm going to talk about today, um, but what do you need to continue in your business? Then what do you need to add? Perhaps there's something that I'm going to say today that's going to help you think, okay, I can add that to my business. And then what is it that I need to reposition? Perhaps I'm already doing it, but maybe I'm not as effective. And maybe based on what Coach P said today, maybe I need to rethink how I'm doing that. And then lastly, what do I need to get rid of? What, what's not serving me well? Okay, so what's serving me well? What's not serving me well? And then you can look at things like habits, behaviors, activities, routines, as well as people. Yes, 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 even people, okay? Who do we need to continue aligning ourselves with and connecting with and engaging with? And then who do we not need to do that with, all right? So even organizations, okay? What organizations do I need to continue to align myself with or which ones are not work, no longer working for me? And so last week we talked about the secret sauce of becoming a great coach. If you missed it, you missed it. So you gotta go back and you gotta watch the live. I tell you what, if you join the Life and Business Coach Campus, uh, it is there, it is there as well as um, um, the, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. The Life and Business Coach Campus, if you just join that, you can see all of the replays, okay? So that's the secret sauce of being a great coach. In addition, of course, to being here on the Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs, um, you can always go back to that replay as well. Then of course, um, today we're gonna talk about connecting your ideas to your dollars. And, and sometimes this is how we feel. And it's like, ah! <sighs> let me breathe. Let me just stop, <laughs> stop for a moment. There's so much happening as a coach, trying to coach, working on coaching, focusing on your clients and creating transformations in your clients and wanting to really, really uh, do a great job with that, right? Because after all, that's why you're called to coach. But then it's also running your business, right? Which platforms do I use? How do the platforms work? What type of content do I need to produce to, to, to help attract my ideal client? The list goes on and on, revenue goes, and how do I connect my ideas to my dollars, right? How do I make it happen? I heard you ask that question. So what I wanna share with you, there are three elements that can make or break your success as a coach, okay? Three elements that can make or break your success, success as a coach, okay? The first one is being clear on your target market. It will make all the difference in the world when you get clear on your target market. Ask me how I know. Okay. The second thing is what, what need do you fulfill? What pain do you hear? Or what problem do you solve? Being very clear on those three things. Okay. What need do you fulfill? What pain do you hear? Or what problem do you solve? All right. That's the third thing. The second thing. And then the third is uh, you must be able to earn revenue or generate profit with your products or services. So does it make money is the bottom line. All right. Does it make money? Does that idea make money or have potential to make money? And so those are the three elements that can make or break your success in your coaching business or any business for that matter. But I, I, again, I'm talking specifically to life of business coaches. But if you have another type of business out there, these um, the, the nuggets that I'm sharing today are very applicable to you. You know, it's being it's been said in many, many a periodical uh, that. The average millionaire, the average millionaire creates at least seven streams of income, at least seven streams. OK, so as a coach in your business, how can you diversify your portfolio is the question. How can you repurpose um, some of your, your content to create programs or different types of uh, methodologies or different products or, you know, paraphernalia or merchandise? What is it that you can do? How can how much can you expand? your vision, all right, is, is the bottom line. So let's take, for instance, uh, Miss Rihanna. Everybody knows Miss Rihanna, right? Robin Fenty would be the uh, businesswoman, Robin Fenty. Okay, so uh, Rihanna is a singer. She's an actress. She's a fashion designer. And let me say Robin Fenty is the, it, or Rihanna is the singer. Then Robin Fenty is the actress, the fashion designer, and then the businesswoman, right? She has, um, a Fenty business, a beauty cosmetic line. And, and, the, and what makes it so different is its inclusivity. That's their 
differentiator. Okay, so we always want to think, what do we have that differentiates us from the competition? And 50% of her income comes from the Fenty Beauty line. Okay, so that is 50%. She also has the Savage and Fenty lingerie line. All right, so another percentage comes from that. And I'm sure she has more uh, in terms of her portfolio because she makes 70 million per year. Now, of course, we, uh, we know that she's a singer, right? So she's producing music and doing concerts and so on and so forth. So she makes 70 million a year on average, 70 million a year for a whopping total, a whopping total of a 1.7 billion net worth. Okay, one point, I didn't say 1.7 million, I said 1.7 billion. So she is the highest paid in her industry. And what I really, really appreciate about Rihanna or Robin Fenty, the businesswoman, is that she truly has embodied or embraced diversifying her portfolio. And so that's my question to you out there. How can you diversify and, and really, um, um, yeah, that's it. How do you diversify your portfolio? That's what I want to ask you today. Okay. So please type in comments, uh, the different types of programs that you might have, um, products that you may have services that you may offer in your particular niche. Okay. And I'm not saying you are, you know, a coach and then you're a real estate investor and then, you know, um, you have a caregiving service or whatever the case may be. Those are definitely great ways to diversify your portfolio. But I want you to focus in on your coaching business and determine how many different ways can you diversify your portfolio in your coaching, okay, or your coaching portfolio. So there are three phases that I want to introduce to you today um, to connect your ideas to your dollars. Now, I'm sure you've heard um, many of this, many of what I'm going to share with you today, but not the way that I'm going to share it, okay, because everyone has a unique way of uh, presenting material. So what I want to say to you is phase one is to determine your industry and your niche. Okay. So phase one is determine your industry and your niche. Then you want to create your revenue model. Okay. So now remember, we're connecting our ideas to our dollars. So these are three phases that I'm going to take you through. All right. That's going to help you connect your ideas to your dollar and monetize your ideas, all right? So you wanna create your revenue model. Then you're gonna determine your goals, your client and your revenue goals. And then you're going to create your product or your services, okay? So that's essentially what you wanna do in phase one, all right? Phase one, you're getting ready, you're getting your mind clear, you're getting focused where I'm headed, uh, you're, you're on the highway and you're going down the highway, okay? So you determine your niche in your industry, OK, I'm going to land it in the coaching industry and then I'm going to focus on uh, women. OK, I'm going to focus on women. And for me, primarily, it's women 40 and over. Why? Because I, I know the needs of a more seasoned woman. And sometimes it takes us a little bit longer, especially with all the technology and so forth and so on. And many of us have been um, downsized or we've been in careers for a very long time. And so now we're transitioning into our own. And so I really embrace that. I understand it, right? So that's understanding your niche, creating your revenue model. How many different ways can you diversify your portfolio, um, determining your goals, right? Your client revenue goals, and then create, create that product based on that. OK, so we always want to begin with the end in mind. OK, so beginning with the end in mind means that when we talk about, you know, first of all, revenue goals, let's talk about revenue goals. And we're going to use for an example, 100,000. OK, so if we were to divide that up quarterly, that would be 25,000. Monthly would be 8,333. Weekly would be $2,083.25. And then daily, will be $297.64, okay? And then you can determine your new clients based on your pricing, okay? So whatever the pricing is, and then the next stage is gonna really help you identify how many clients do you need in order to make that particular revenue, okay? So the other thing I want you to take into account when, when, when we are setting our revenue goals is that we gotta take into account our personal finances, and our business operation expenses, okay? We gotta take it, that into consideration, all right? So if you say, okay, I want to make clear 100,000, then you might need to, you know, say 130,000, 150,000, depending on your tax, uh, your taxes and, and so on and so forth, your expenses and, 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 you know, the list goes on, all right? So 
that's very, very important. So then what I want you to do is if you can take your sheet of paper, because I, I know you have your paper and pen out, right? And then you draw three boxes, okay? So three boxes across and then three boxes underneath, all right? Is 100,000 is the focus. And the first set of boxes is determining the revenue, the products that you're going to sell, okay? Or the services that you're going to offer. And then you wanna prioritize them. Now, can you do all three at the same time? Yes, indeed you can. But is it advisable? Absolutely not. First of all, you need a great team, okay? Because typically, especially as a newer coach, we're everything, right? <laughs> we're the coach, we're the CEO, we are the, you know, the admin, we do it all, all right? Social media manager, we do it all, right? So it's very important to hone in and narrow your niche, narrow your focus to that product and that service, okay? And then diversify. Say over the next year, this is what I plan to do. So maybe introduce per quarter is a recommendation, okay? Because it really takes 90 days to ramp up to have a really great launch. Um, and, a, and, and to really get a great momentum going and to create some consistency in your business. And so when you look at, at revenue, how to make the revenue stream. So that means what are you going to do? Is it going to be a coaching program? So let's say it's a coaching program, okay? Um, and a coaching course. And then how much is that course going to be? And then how much time is it going to take? And then underneath, what will I do specifically? Okay. So um, I'm sorry, the how to make was the amount of money. Okay, the, the amount of money. And then down here is what am I specifically going to do? All right, so in the next slide, it's going to really help you a little bit more. Okay, so say the product is group training. All right, the revenue that I want to generate is 12425 Why? Because I've decided that I want my group training to be half of my work, half of my, my focus. So if that's the case, um, that is 50%, right? And this is very, very critical, which a lot of people don't get or where we fall short as a coach because I, I've done it, I've, I've, I've had to learn it the hard way. And that is, if your focus is group training and that's your, your number one, or at least half of your, half or more of your revenue, then that's the exact amount of time we need to spend in that. OK, take, for instance, um, group training. So if you're going to do a group coaching program, um, that's one thing, right? That's one product, one service. Then coaching, maybe this is a VIP program, all right? A VIP program, uh, maybe you don't have as many clients. It's not much of, a, much of the focus. But here it says 24%, OK? This is the amount of money, the revenue that I want to generate, OK? 5991 So breaking that down, that's 24%. So I'm going to, uh, that's 24% of the total that I want to generate. And that's also 24% of the time I need to spend during a week in my business. At least 20% of the time, 24, almost 25% of my time, I need to spend working on or in my, my coaching for VIPs, all right? And then my products, say 3,500 3, is the remaining, okay? All you're doing is subtracting from 25,000, all right? That's 14%. So that would be, you know, maybe merchandise that you want to create or promote. All right. So that's 14% of our time spent with that. Okay. So hopefully that you, you understand. And so then you break down, you know, how many students. Now, this is where you determine how many clients you actually need to make sure you hit 12,425. So then we're looking at pricing. We're looking at time frame. How long is your program going to be? You know, the longer the program, um, it really you know, the, the amount of the, um, the investment should increase, right? Because you're spending more of your time. So that's 25 students at four nights. Say if your product was just, well, was 497, right? 497, six week program. So we need um, 25 students, 25 students to hit the goal of 12,425. Okay. And if your, your product is more, then you'll have to do less students. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. If this makes sense, go ahead and type in comment, comments. This makes sense, okay? This makes sense. And then uh, if you think this is something, join me in my trainings because I love to give the value. I know it's a lot. I'm going fast because I have very limited time to be here with you, but I want to make sure you get this, okay? So phase two of connecting your ideas to your dollars is you're going to build your brand, okay? So next is build your brand. 
determine your features and benefits of your product or your services, and then create a marketing plan. So this is phase two, all right? Build your brand, determine features and benefits, and then create your marketing plan. I always say that your money is in your message, the content that you're putting out, and your message must align with your brand. Okay, so they go hand in hand. So who or what does your brand say you are is the question, all right? When we look at features and benefits, what's the difference between features and then benefits? Feature is a distinctive attribute or, or aspect of something, right? Versus a benefit, which is an advantage or profit gain from something. So when we focus on marketing, we wanna lead with the benefit, okay? Then we come behind with the feature because people don't care how you're gonna help them. They just wanna know that you're gonna help them. So that's like going to a, 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 a trainer, you know, a physical trainer, and you know, he's promoting his business and he's saying, okay, I'm going to give you, you know, a, a 500 squats a day and I'm gonna run 10 miles a week. And we're not signing up, are we ladies? We are not doing that. But if he says, hey, join me, you're gonna get your sexy back. We're like, where do we sign? <laughs> where do we sign? Are you gonna cut inches off that waist in just a few months? You're gonna get ready for the summer. Those are all the wonderful benefits, okay? Because we want the end result, don't we, okay? So let me give you another example. Coach Mastermind Network, that is one of our premier uh, networks and some features of that, of that program. We meet twice a month. We offer spotlight coaching. We do co-working Saturdays. Uh, and you have unlimited training and development, training on demand, okay? And coaching, personal and leadership development. Now that's, you probably say as a coach, okay, that sounds interesting, right? But when I tell you that you'll be mentored and coached by me, Coach P, to take you to the next level, to take your business to the next level. And when I tell you that we're going, we network and we connect with phenomenal coaches, you'll be able to uh, have peer-to-peer -peer growing and learning together and you'll be able to learn at your own pace and you'll have a place where you can go and learn as much as you want whenever you want how does that sound right that's the difference right that's we want the benefits features are great but the benefits how is it what is it going to do for me okay now let's go ahead and take a quick look at marketing marketing is a process um the activity set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and the society at large. Now, key here, process. Marketing is a process. Creating, you gotta be creative. You gotta communicate. You gotta deliver. You gotta, it's gotta be an exchange, all right, of time, and you gotta give them something of value for their time. And then it's for your, your ideal client. And as I always say that marketing is the lifeline of your business and branding is the lifeline of our marketing plan. And I love what uh, Ray Perez, the chief marketing strategist says, he says that 20% will be naysayers, okay? 60% will follow you and 20% will fall in love with you. And that's what you want, all right? So what do we focus on? We focus on the 80%, not the 20%. And a lot of times, we can go down um, that alley, right? And, and buy ourselves and hang out for a while. Well, guess what? That's the 20%. We don't want to deal with that. Let's focus on the 80%, all right? So what I'd like to do is share with you quickly an on three marketing mix that I created. It's called online, on land, and on you. So let's take a look at it. So online is website. We've got to make sure that we have a place for our people to go, for ideal clients to learn about us, to be able to connect with us and engage with us. Then we've got to choose a favorite platform to use, right? Out here in the social media streets, <laughs> in these social, social media streets. So IG, Facebook groups, LinkedIn, where are you going to hang out? Where do your people hang out? That's where you want to hang out, okay? Clubhouse, so on and so forth. Then you want to master the platform. Although I don't know if there's any mastering at all because it, it, this, this is ever evolving, isn't it? It's a whole lot to, to think about. It's a whole lot to consider. And then when you think you got it, here comes TikTok. <laughs> all right. So we want to focus on building and nurturing our relationships in our platforms. And then we want to get testimonials from the people that we help, from the clients that we help. The other thing that we want to consider when we look at online is our online community, our newsletter newsletters. Ladies, if I can share anything with you today, if you don't take away anything else, get a CRM, a customer relations management tool, and do a newsletter. Whether you communicate once a week, twice a month, once a month, 
but communicate. And you want to build your, your online uh, community because you maintain control of your, your emails, your contact with your, your clients, okay? You maintain that control. And so you want to make sure that you do that, all right? Because social media could go away. You remember back a few months ago when Facebook went down, IG went down for a minute? This world lost its mind, didn't it, <laughs> right? But those of us who have a newsletter uh, email community, it's okay, all right, well, you know, that's okay. At least we have our clients or we have our potential clients, all right? So think about that and doing lives like I'm doing today. And, you know, it's all about just getting out there and doing it, right? Just making it happen. So the second thing is on land. On land, what types of organizations are you connecting with, all right? What types of networking groups are you with? What about the old school PR, public relations? And I want to give you um, a tool, uh, not a tool, a resource, Harrow, help a reporter out. If you've not heard of Harrow, you want to go on over, Google it, Harrow, help a reporter out. That's where you can get some uh, media exposure, okay? The last thing is on you. Inside and out, focus on your own mental growth, your, your psychological development, intellectual development, and yourself, taking care of yourself, okay? Um, emailing, make sure that you're professional in your email and your communications. And then the per it's all about personal and professional development, isn't it? And that's why our, our company focuses on, again, um, coaching, personal and leadership development. And then, then phase three, let's go right into phase three. This is designing your miracle morning, okay? You wanna design your miracle morning, create a launch plan, Determine your daily plan, create a success team, build metrics and account an accountability plan, and then you want to rinse and repeat or assess it and then repeat if it's working, okay? But again, you want to give it at least 90 days um, to see if it's working, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to share with you six steps to optimize your performance with phase three, all right? Prioritize your goals, divide it in 30, 60, 90-day plan in a 30, 60, 90 day plan. Um, determine your projects, your tasks, your resources, assign due dates, create your marketing strategy and work your plan consist with consistency, okay? So this is six steps to optimizing your performance. Now, this is um, an example, and this is taken from the Powerhouse Woman in Motion Ultimate Planning System for Your Life and Business, and that is something that I created. Um, we're in our third year, third production, so I'm so excited, but that is an invaluable tool for coaches, absolutely invaluable. And so this is the type of page that you would see, and this way you can plan exactly what I just shared with you, okay? So in this example, the goal may be to grow your, your corporate client list. By and then you can put it by, by you know, 100, 500, 1,000, or whatever it might be. Then the next, the project or task to do that is I've got to start marketing it, right? So create mar marketing collateral, describing your features and benefits, and then um, setting a due date would be important, all right? And you can broke, break it down even further than that and drill down. But you want to look at it in 30, 60, and 90 day increments. So each quarter, you want to complete a project plan like this, a strategic plan, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed the training today because the connecting your ideas to your dollars uh, is a separate masterclass that I typically do, but I've condensed it. So if you got this much in 25 minutes or 26 minutes, I think I have now 28 minutes, then guess what you're gonna get in the course? And guess what? I've got one coming up this coming Thursday. Now, are we gonna talk about ex exactly what we talked about today? No, I'm gonna share with you what we're gonna talk about. It, this masterclass is for the life of business coaches who feel stuck, who feel overwhelmed, and who need clarity and next steps, okay? It's called the Nuts and Bolts of Coaching Growth Masterclass. And it's how to turn your expertise and passion into a profitable coaching program. And again, if you enjoyed the class today, you got a lot of value. You're going to have to watch the replay because I talked really, really fast. And I had a lot of nuggets, a lot of information. You get that all the time with me. All right. You get it all the time. And I'm here to work through it with you. All right. So it, it is designed. This Thursday will be designed to identify your ideal client, package your brilliance, expertise, and passion, and teach you the key ingredients share the key ingredients to becoming a successful coach, all right? So, so it's gonna happen this Thursday. It is free. And say this with me, if it's free, it's for me, <laughs> okay? So if it's free, it's for me, go ahead and put in comments. If it's free, it's for me. It's a 90-minute training class, masterclass, this Thursday, March 31st, 
at 7 p.m. Central. Go ahead and scan the barcode and that will take you to registration. You can go to powerhouseinmotion.com. That's powerhouseinmotion.com to get registered. And then join me back here in the Women Helping Women Entrepreneurs for Systems and Operations Made Simple. Can you get excited about that? This is where you're going to learn the systems to make your plans come to life. So I am committed to your success because your success is my success. And I thank you for being with me today. And I'll see you hopefully this Thursday. Go ahead and get registered. And then I'll see you back here on Monday. God bless. Have a great day. Make it a great week.